Okay, so we're back over in Adjusoft now uh, with the original model before exporting to ZBrush. So what we need to do is go to Tools, Import, Mesh, select the reuv reuved version, open. And all the information will be lost and then we just be end up with the uh, the mesh brought back in directly from ZBrush. So if you look at the wireframe we can see it's the quad version that's been replaced. It still remained maintained all the camera positions. Now as we previously said it's worth having two sets of photographs, one for the actual point referencing and the second one for the texture creation. So what I just want to do to begin with is re-import a different batch of photographs. So if I select all the images just by selecting Control A, change path. Now when we go to the folder, we it will only display one image. But because the actual sequence is exactly the same, it will just replace all the images. So you'll only see one even though there's more images. So just say open, select your cameras. We'll just do all cameras in case we've missed any. So if we open up an image, we can see this is now a flattened version with less contrast throughout all the images. So this is what we want, actually want to bake the texture down to. So go back to model. This time we want to go build texture. And with the mapping mode, we want to keep the UVs we actually imported. Otherwise, it'll just do the same process as previously. Um, keep, I'm going to keep the map at 4K and just OK. I'll just pause the video at this point. That process took 32 seconds. Now we click back to the texture tab. And we can see everything's mapped as it should be with a new, cleaner, flatter texture which will be represented better in the game when we've got normal maps affecting the direction of light, etc. Now if I just save out the UV map, export the texture, call this tree 1, can see the difference between the original version and the reuv layer which is completely workable and we can modify it however we like also in zbrush it might be worth rotating it so it's more aligned so there's less dead space in the corners but this is just something um, that can be done at any point really the modeler can then be uh, taken back into zbrush so if we import the model, the reuv map, there's a few random vertices from that was left behind that we can just remove. Press T again to modify it to make it editable mesh. Now when it comes to the texture. Um, just import the one we want, the, the new version. And something that's important to do when bringing the map in is also, if I just select the actual texture, you'll notice that the, uh, well, let me just put it on first. If I select the texture. You can see how it's projecting wrong. Now this is a common occurrence. Every time you bring something from Agisoft, you'll actually have to flip the channel. So if we go back into texture and flip the V, select the new version, and it's fine. It just maps it exactly as it was. We've got a pretty perfect representation of the real world object created purely from photographs with a, a workflow to generate a, a better topology and 
we've optimized the UV layout space and now we've got the opportunity to kind of go in and sculpt all the kind of detail you want and bake out a really nice normal map for which will convey the information really well inside the game engine and that's the workflow from preparing your images to generating the basic model in Agisoft re laying out the UV maps in ZBrush taking the model back into Agisoft to reapply the textures to the new version and then going back into ZBrush which can now be worked on and more detail created through sculpting and whatever tools you want and that concludes this uh, tutorial on photo scanning.